Hi everyone. There are a lot of complex and powerful scenarios you can build in the SAP Business Technology Platform Cloud Foundry environment. But really the foundation of it all is knowing how to deploy a simple application. And today we're going to deploy a static web server. So we're going to take an index HTML file from our local machine, select the correct build pack and push our app to Cloud Foundry to make it available to the world. Let's get going. All right, so we have here our project root and in there, it's just a pretty simple index HTML file. We got some CSS in here. We got the HTML body containing a few elements such as an iframe or a paragraph. But that's really all we have, have as of now. We could also put some JavaScript in here, but that's really not the point of the tutorial. So what are we gonna do next? We want to deploy our application to Cloud Foundry. So we need a way of describing this deployment or configuring it. And for that, we're going to create a new file in our project root. And that file is called manifest.yaml. And inside that manifest, we're going to give some information as to how we want our app to be deployed. So I just pasted a code snippet in here and First, we need a name for our application, right? I just called it my web page. And then we need to select a build pack, right? And there are several, there's a whole uh, a list of available build packs for Cloud Foundry um, for various different applications, for example, for Python, for Java, for Node.js, but also for static files. And that's what we want. We just want a web server that statically serves our HTML file. That's basically all the web application is, right? So we select the static file build pack here. Uh, we save the file and we can actually now already go ahead and start a new terminal session and start the deployment process. So I'm going to navigate into the project route here real quick. And next, I wanna check if I have the CF command line interface install. So cf-v gives me a version. So I got it installed. In case you don't have that installed just yet, make sure to check the links in the description. Next, I'm going to log into the Cloud Foundry environment using cf login. If you don't have a Cloud Foundry environment account just yet, also make sure to check out the link in the description. We got you covered. All right, next I'm going to log in. Okay, I now logged into my Cloud Foundry environment and selected a space. And now all I have to do to deploy my app is say CF push. That's gonna start the deployment process and it's gonna take a minute or two and then we have our web app deployed. All right, here we go. The deployment process just finished and I'm gonna grab this URL here and copy it and paste it into my browser. And there we go. We deployed our first web application on Cloud Foundry. If you like this SAP Tech Bytes episode, make sure to check out the subsequent episode to learn more about the Cloud Foundry basics. See you next time.